So here we have it, Dave. Oh, I can't wait. This man. is the disturbing film, of course, The Human Centipede, oh. which was disturbing a year ago. Just, now, just the concept is yeah. disturbing. <laughs> to actually film it is disgusting. The film was actually not as disgusting as I thought it was going to be. That's true. Nor was it as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it was kind of like a nice Frankenstein type film. Or like uh, Texas Chainsaw. Something along these lines. Right. Right. Very creepy doctor in that one. Yes. Now the only problem I have with this new one is that the weird guy in this film is doing what he's doing because he has seen the first mm -hmm. film. Right. Now I if I think it would work better if he had seen like the, the secretive tapes of Dr. Leader or whatever he was. Mm -hmm. But to have him watch the actual film I think is taking you out of the story somehow. Does that disturb you, Dave? No. No. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. The I'm subject not... matter is disturbing you. <laughs> that doesn't add to any excess disturbances that I currently feel for this film. <laughs> okay, just a disclaimer. This is a little rough uh, trailer, but there's a scene in here with a man. It looks like he's nude, I swear to God, but I, I did frame by frame. He's got underwear on. He's got a big stomach hanging over. It looks like it's hanging over his package, but there's underwear there, so don't get offended, anyway. All right, here we, here go. we go. The Human Centipede 2 full sequence. Oh boy. Hey, I hope you're not time wasting, you. I've got a dozen people waiting to look at this place. Hey, come on, let's get this lease signed, eh? <laughs> here today because your mother is very worried about you. He keeps on talking about a centipede with 12 people. <laughs> what does that mean? The centipede can be considered a phallic symbol. Centipedes are very aggressive creatures. Yeah, please! Their bite can be very painful. What are you looking at? Maybe he's connecting the pain that a centipede inflicts with the psychological and sexual abuse inflicted on him by his father. There's nothing to worry about. I'm sure it's just a passing phase. Hmm? What is this? 100% medically accurate. One digestive system? Is this a perverted film you've been talking about? This isn't right, Martin. What you're doing, it's wrong. <laughs> I'm doing it! It's a film! You have a centimeter film! <laughs> Banned in the UK. Yeah, it was banned in the UK, yeah. That looks really sick. I have to say, that <laughs> it looks is, sicker than the other one. This looks real. It looks filthy. <laughs> it just has this gritty, dirty look to it. I don't know if that's going to help it or if it's just kills people more, but boy, does that look sick. <laughs> Utterly sick. Sickening. And where and is sick. it being shown, right, Dave? Will you see this? Or? Yes. <laughs> You have to like, see it, you though, right? See it. You gotta see it. I gotta see it. I, 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 you know, I think I know what to expect. I'm not sure what type of medical skill this <laughs> obese nerd seems to possess, but apparently he's gonna find a way to attach 12 people, and it's just... I don't know, is it in black and white, Ed? I'm not sure, because the flashbacks were black and white. I don't know. Mm. I mean, because that, that certainly adds to a certain degree of of the filth it does it does it. give it a certain element a certain look which is i think adds to the disturbing qualities that this film so clearly possesses it's um, a gritty parking lot attendant which mm. you see when you're parking down at the mall there but yet he can surgically attach 12 people <laughs> based, like, based on the film that he saw even dr leader who was a medical doctor in that first one he got they got infections from the process right. 
I don't think we're concerned with infections <laughs> in this film so much. The first one, uh, the, forget who it was, the tail passed on from infections. Or... Right. <laughs> so there you have a human centipede. We're not sure. It might be out now. It might not be out. We're not we're sure on the release date on this. It's supposed to be out sometime or about now. I know that when I, um, actually in a couple of weeks when, I, when I'm taking off to uh, England, I won't be seeing it there because <laughs> it's banned. No. It's banned there. You can't see it there. No. All right, we got DVD releases. Maybe these will bring us up a little more, okay. Dave. That was kind of a, yeah, that's down, a, little, yeah, a that downer. Is. It's good for Halloween, though. My stomach is a little upset. Oh, here's the film Orlando Bloom didn't do to do that other one, which looks like uh, yeah. The Three Musketeers. Did okay in the, this summer. That might be. Do you think that would be the end of these? I swear they were planning another one after really? this, yeah. Well, Johnny Jack the Smart, you ride it out. Here's the complete series in a little treasure chest. Wow, that's very nice. Nice collectible there. The Clone Wars. The third season. We're pushing these right out. It's pretty good. I don't always watch it, but when I do, it's, uh, it's nice effects. Except for the humans. <laughs> they look <laughs> like they're carved out of wood. The original. Really? Oh. This is another one of those giant box sets like we had, I think, Ben Hur last week. You can only have one of these in your collection. It's so big. Willy Wonka and I've, the Chocolate I've Factory. I've never seen the whole Willy Wonka. I don't believe I've seen the entire film. I've seen enough of it to uh, <laughs> know I don't want to watch the whole film. Oh, but I've seen bits and pieces of it here and there. Yeah. I think I'd rather see this one than the... The Johnny Depp version? Yeah. Which is a little, I suppose, that's a little darker. Okay, there's a little video with this. This is the Red Brown Captain America from the 70s, two uh, made-for-TV films, where he had the motorcycle oh, look at that. that popped out. Oh, and it goes through cardboard. That's amazing. <laughs> it was good for its day, I guess. I think, okay. What's, what's that? Bad teacher. Eat me. Okay. I saw that. It was... Passable. You saw it in the theater. I did see it in the theater. It was passable. I'm not a big Cameron Diaz fan, but Justin Timberlake is, uh, as much as I can't stand his music, is very talented. <laughs> He's a good, good actor. Very good. Unrated version might be a little better on DVD here. Perhaps. What is this? This is the one we did not that long ago with Selena Gomez, who Lee Lex said had a big forehead or a big head. I forget oh, which okay. one she said. <laughs> I do recall that. I still remember that. It wasn't that long ago. Isn't she one of the Disney darlings? She is, and the Justin Bieber darling. Oh, that's right. Uh, not uh, haven't kept up on my <laughs> teenage angst and teenage relationship news from Entertainment Tonight. No, you keep up with it here though on the media zone. Oh, that's right. Well, just the important stuff is what we provide. Right. Okay, let, we have to do the chiller show this week. All right. There's so much going on in the Halloween show next time that, um, that we better do this now. So this chiller show is an annual event in Parsippany, New right. Jersey, where a collection of uh, actors and directors and all sorts of people that are not related to chiller theater in any way. It started out as a horror movie thing. Right. And then it moved into like... Uh, Anything. You know, TV, old 60 stars. Okay, that's a little stretch, but... And then there's and always... porn stars. <laughs> there's always the porn star. Tracy Lords this time. I did see her one time. Mm -hmm. She look, looks good. Got a picture with her somewhere. Mm -hmm. Now, other than myself, who uh, um, is a big fan of The Last American Virgin, uh -huh. I don't think anybody as knows of this film. <laughs> I've, I've seen the film. You have seen I it. I have seen it. This isn't the one where they measure the, uh, <laughs> the, guy, the guy with the largest tool wins the pool. Is <laughs> yeah, that? Yes, it is. That is the film. Okay. Yes, <laughs> I've seen this film. <laughs> and it's a reunion. Remember, remember the Conchita, the blonde Spanish woman up there? The heavy guy went, goes and makes whoopee oh, with Oh, yes. You see him through the keyhole yep. with his a big yes. bum bouncing around? Mm -hmm. So they'll both be there. 